Hi, I'm Rukshana. Welcome to this episode of The Gist, brought to you by DFCU Bank. Now, before we get into the conversation, on behalf of all of us at DFCU, we extend a strength, a comfort and a condolences to everyone that has been and is being affected by COVID-19. And that's pretty much all of us. And that is why it is important that we stick with the guidelines and follow the SOPs and obviously take responsibility for our lives and everyone around us because in this fight against COVID-19, we are indeed each other's first line of defense. But for purposes of this conversation, I will take off my mask and I will request my guests to do the same as we get into the conversation. And over the past couple of days and weeks, you might have seen or heard about DFCU's um, new campaign. So joining me today are two colleagues who will be able to speak a little bit more about the campaign, what it promises for both the bank's existing customers and those who are yet to become our customers, hopefully very soon. But I'd like to ask my guests to introduce themselves by name and of course by title. And I'll start with the lovely lady. Hello everyone, my name is Farida Nadovega and I'm the manager for cards and money transfer in DFCU Bank. Welcome Farida. I'm, I'm looking forward to having the conversation on, on cards and, and security around cards because that's a major yes. concern for a lot of people. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Shana. Hello everyone. Lloyd Jonathan Busura is my name. I head the alternative channels department of DFCU Bank. No, that's a very fancy, a very fancy title, Head of Alternative Channels. What exactly does that really mean and why, sh why should our audience or our customers even care about Alternative Channels? Uh, alternative Channels is basically, uh, basically refers to the other options a customer has to transact with the bank. Uh, once upon a time, banking and transacting with the bank was skewed to brick and mortar or to branches. Uh, Thanks to technology, we have very many alternatives through which a customer, or very many options through which a customer can transact. For DFCU Bank in specific, we have the agency banking network. Sorry, and this is about me being able to bank in my neighborhood Kafunda, right? It, in, this in is the about you being able to bank in your neighborhood Kafunda, okay. and neighbor, neighborhood retail shop, into the hardware shop, into the supermarket, uh, with over 1,500 agents all over the country. Then we have the ATM network. Uh, DFCU currently is running with over 70, 70 ATMs, both on-site and off-site. On-site basically means the ATM is, is, is at the branch, and then off-site, it's off the branch network. And uh, the mobile and internet banking. 60% uh, Over 60% of our customers are signed up for mobile and internet banking. This basically means uh, that they can do their transactions at uh, using all these channels. So as a strategy as DFCU Bank and um, as the head of alternative channels, mine is to see that migrate most of the customer transactions, all the customer transactions from the brick and mortar to the alternative channels or to the digital channels. But I'd like to open Farida right now. Ma as manager cards and transfers at the bank, could you tell us a little bit more about the world of possibilities that this new campaign you know, opens up for customers, especially in your area? Yeah, so Shana, um, when Lloyd speaks about alternative channels or when you speak about digital, uh, digital solutions, they are key enablers that will help the customers to actually access some of these channels. And um, one of those key uh, tools that the customers can use is, is a product that falls under me, and that's the, that's the cards business. Um, so under the cards business, DFC is currently offering two types of products. We are offering a debit card, and we are also offering a credit card. What's the difference so, between the two? Yeah, so I'll break it down um, further, Shana. Um, a debit card is a card that we are going to issue out to a customer that's linked to any operational account, and the customer has the convenience of accessing their funds 24-7, so they can access it at the point of sale, they can access it at either um, one of the agent locations that Lloyd has spoken to, they can access them at, all, at any of the ATMs, and the ATMs can be DFCU, they can also be other banks' ATMs, as long as they are visa enabled, and then you can also use your card online. So um, then the credit card has a different um, dynamic to it. So it's a line of credit. What we are saying is that we, as you as Shana, can come to us, we as assess you, see how much limit, how much credit you qualify for, and then we are going to um, issue a card to you 
that has the bank's money that you can access and then pay back at a later date in installments. So the, the, the key difference between the two is that one, for the debit card, you're using your own money. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the harsh times we are living in, you will definitely need some kind of buffer. And that's how the credit card comes in quite handy. So for the credit card, the bank is giving you money and then you are obliged to pay back at a later date and in affordable installments. Okay, so now that we've generally understood the different types of cards, let's talk about the subject of security. I know a lot of people, and I'm, guilt, I'm one of those who's are sort of guilty, who will tell you that they will not do online transactions because they are not, first of all, they are not sure yes. where they are sending the money or who they are sending the money to. So there's that, there's that sure. discomfort. Yeah. Talk to us about security as far as online transactions is concerned. Yes. Uh, so we, it's true, yes, the cybercrime um, rate is really fluctuating across the globe and it's just not only in Uganda. So as, um, as the bank, um, in partnership with the different card schemes, that's Visa and MasterCard, we have ensured that we are trying to add another layer of authentication for our customers who are transacting online. What we are saying and promising to the customer that the moment you get your DFCU card and you go online, trying to probably buy a, buy a ticket, trying to do uh, purchase something on Amazon, your own PayPal, there, the, the, we are going to add another layer of authentication which is in form of a one-time password. So this one-time password will come to either your phone or your email addresses. So we know that there's times when a customer is going to use their card when they're out of the country and probably they are not roaming. And that's why we added the second layer of Same your one-time password coming to um, your email address. So this one-time password, Shana, is going to be required for you to complete that online trans tra uh, transaction. And this is going to happen for some transactions. As, as, the, as the world starts to embrace um, these security um, enhancements, there are merchants in the world who are not yet 3D enabled. So not at all sites that the customer transacts, the customer will get a one-time password, but um, a, a Most, good percentage of them, you will get a one-time password, and then the customer will be able to complete the transaction. So before even the transaction um, is completed on our end, you need to authenticate yourself to ensure that we are dealing with the right card holder, Shana. Okay. And speaking of security, I'd just like to double back to you, Lloyd, very, very briefly. She mentioned one-time password, and, and I know that, because I, I, I bank with, I'm multi-banked, like a lot of Ugandans are, we're multi-banked. And sometimes you're, you're in a rush, you're doing a transaction, and, and that password just doesn't come, eh? True. It really doesn't come. So is, is that something that you're handling on the quick banking side? So as a bank, we went back, we went back to the drawing board and uh, looked at the solutions worldwide, what we can do to enhance this. So we have a new uh, authentication method, all approval method, uh, that is replacing the one-time password that we call Trust Factor. Trust Factor is an application that can be downloaded on the Google Play Store. Uh, that when you're transacting, uh, and that when you're executing a transaction, it will uh, pop up a message to say, uh, Shana, you're sending money to Lloyd, X, Y, and Z. Do you want to complete this transaction? But the click of a button of either yes or no, the transaction will either be executed or rejected. So uh, we are moving our customers from the one-time password to trust factor. And we believe, and, uh, we believe this will uh, improve the success rate and uh, it will also address the challenge that the customers are facing with the one-time password. We're currently in pilot phase and to the customers that have been using it, they are happy about the new innovation or the new direction the bank is taking. Does it also protect me against I accidentally sent money to Farid and I wasn't ready to quite send the money. Does, does that trust factor help with that? Uh, it helps in a way that uh, it will, uh, as you're executing, remember uh, the first you have to input the details, uh, you're sending to Farida, but then you input Lloyd's number and all that. So as you click to, to, to say send, it will bring the message. All so the it will, details it will give so I can read all the, You can read all the details. So you kind of have a second level of the second eye to look into all the details to confirm whether it's actually Lloyd or Farida. But the moment you say yes, then you can't get, you can't get those funds back. But one, you will have to input the details. Then two, Trust Factor will give you the option to reread and say 
that this is the information I actually want to send. So at least you have a second level, second level where you can confirm whether the transaction is okay or not. So what are the other enhancements that the customers can expect to see as far as quick banking is concerned? Uh, we have what we call the bulk payments. So we have on the corporate side, we have uh, NGOs, we have companies that have workers they want to pay. So uh, the accountant of that particular company can prepare a, a pay schedule, upload it in quick banking, and then um, sorry payments can go to the different workers, especially those with accounts in the bank. We're also doing uh, extending credit using the app. Uh, sooner than, um, in the next couple of days, we shall be launching our mobile, mobile loan application. Mobile loan application in the sense that um, for anyone who wants to have, uh, wants to get a soft, wants to get a loan. Some the, money, very quickly. <laughs> some <laughs> money. Some money. Some, some money from the bank. Up to a tune of 2 million shillings. You don't need to walk into our banking hall. All you need to do is sign up onto mobile banking or internet banking, what we call quick banking, under the menu of loans, mobile loan. So no application, paper, no, 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 no sign paper, there, no sign there, there no, no sign there. Let me take pictures of, of your home. Or what, Seriously? What? Two million? To, up to two million shillings. It is up to two million up to shillings. Two million shillings. So in the back end, uh, there are some al algorithms we run to, 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 to say that Lloyd, uh, with the kind of banking, is, um, is credits and debits and uh, his statement. I can qualify, say, for one million shillings, Farid, I can qualify for, say, 500, uh, Shana can qualify for, say, two million. Then we mark this limit onto your account. So when you go into the mobile loan menu, you will see that you can get up to, say, 700,000. So you can decide to apply for the 700,000 or 300,000. When your bankings improve, when your bankings improve, then the limit is adjusted. Uh, before Farida gives you the credit card, you can first use them. <laughs> I'm not too sure Farida is going to be very happy. No, Farida gives you the credit card, you, <laughs> she you, can first use the, you can first use the mobile one. Then also now mobile and internet banking, we have the ability to pay school fees now. Remember the days when a child is going back to school and you have to line up? Uh, yeah. You can pay school fees, you can pay your taxes, you can do your NSSF, you can do the domestic transfers. So all these enhancements, we are bringing, we are bringing all the services, all the functionalities that are being done in branch onto the app and onto the internet banking, all what we call quick banking, so that you bank at your own speed, you bank at your own pace, you don't have to walk into the branch. But I must admit it's a bit of a headache because now our kids are also aware that we have our banks on our phone. So there's stories of the bank is closed, don't quite happen anymore. <laughs> I think I think then you have our to... Our kids are like, but mommy, you have your phone, so you can actually pay now. They're then you have to do some stories. financial <laughs> literacy to, to the kids and, and tell them the money. The bank could be on the phone, but the money needs to be used sparingly. <laughs> so, yes, okay. and um, when we're doing all these innovations and developments, uh, I'll keep talking about the voice of the customer. We come to the market, we listen to the customer. What does the customer want to see? Now we've had customers who say they want to open secondary accounts, they want to open accounts for their children and things like that, and they don't want to come to the bank. So sooner than later we shall be opening that up, still on our internet and mobile, that you can open a secondary account for yourself, for your child, you can open a fixed deposit, you can request a bank draft, we want to integrate into the card space so that you can uh, block your card, you can request for a new card, you can see your credit card balances, Basically, just bringing the bank to you, so you have the bank in your pocket. You bank at the speed of you. Okay, perfect point to bring this conversation to a close. And that's all we really had time for today. And we would like to say thank you for watching. And if you'd like to know more about the DFCU Bank products and services that have been discussed today, please reach out to us on any through any of our channels on the screen. From DFCU Bank, thank you once again for watching. And remember to stay safe.